When you work on a Scrum or Kanban project in JIRA, you'll notice that the product backlog is broken down into epic stories and tasks, which begs the question, what's the difference between them? Well, it all comes down to how we get from the big picture vision of the product owner to the actual work that needs to get done by the developers on the teams. Hi, I'm Darcy DeClute, the author of the Scrum Master Certification Guide, Agile Advocate, and a JIRA trainer who's passionate about putting product development into simple terms. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on in the world of Agile software development, sign up for my newsletter or join my Discord group. Links are in the description. But for now, I want to talk about the difference between epics, stories, and tasks in JIRA. One of the biggest challenges in product development is getting the person with the product vision to describe the product they want to build. One trick is to get the product owner to break their product down into user stories. User stories take the format as a user of the product, I want to do something so that I can benefit in some way. I'm personally building an online teaching engine to rival Udemy and Coursera. Some examples of user stories I've included are, as a new user, I want to be able to register for an account using my email or social media accounts. As an instructor, I want to be able to categorize my courses appropriately for easy navigation. As an administrator, I want to be able to track revenue generated from course sales and subscriptions. And as a learner, I want the option to rate and review courses that I've completed to help others make informed decisions. User stories don't contain any technical details, and a user story can't really be estimated by a product owner or a business analyst. Although there should be a general feeling that the team of developers should be able to implement a user story somewhere within a few days to a few weeks. However, every once in a while, a product owner will describe a massive user story that should probably be broken down into five, 10, or even 20 separate user stories. For example, if a product owner said their product's key use case was, as an astronaut, I want to be able to park a van-sized spacecraft in my backyard and fly it to Mars and back so I can do intergalactic research. You'd probably say to the product owner, that's not just a user story, that's an epic user story. And that's what an epic is. An epic is just a really big user story that's made up of many smaller user stories. While a user story may be completed in a few days or a few weeks, an epic may take months and span multiple sprints. A 12 month project might have over a hundred user stories, but they may only have four or five epics to contain them. For the online learning engine I'm creating, my 12 month project currently has five epics. User registration and authentication, course management, user engagement and interaction, payment and subscription management, and runtime performance and scalability. Most of my user stories fall within one of these five epics, but they don't have to. Some will sit outside of these epics and that's okay. If I end up with a lot of related orphaned user stories that sit alone, I might create a new epic. And if one of these epics ends up being easier to complete than I thought, I might remove it. None of this is written in stone. Things are constantly changing in the world of software development. That's why we pride ourselves on being agile. So what's a task? Stories and epics aren't written by technical people. They simply describe what needs to be done, not how to do it. During a sprint planning meeting, a product owner will present the team of developers with the highest priority user stories in the product backlog that need to get done. Developers will then take those stories and break them down into actual units of work. That's what the tasks are. They're small bite-sized pieces of work that need to get done to fully implement a user story. Tasks might include things such as provisioning resources in AWS, creating database tables or NoSQL collections, coding complex logic, and unit and regression testing. If something needs to get done to achieve the definition of done, it gets listed as a task in JIRA. And that's it. That's how epic stories and tasks work in JIRA. User stories help the product owner describe what their system needs to do. An epic is a large user story that's easily broken down into smaller ones. And tasks are the individual pieces of work that a development team must do to complete a user story and get their product backlog items to meet the definition of done. Oh, and if you're agile and working with Scrum, please check out my recently published Scrum Master Certification Guide. It's available on Amazon. Python and Java devs will love it.
done. Yeah.